Hi, I'm Matthew Peasy. I'm going to show you how you can animate shapes inside of After Effects. Animating shapes can add interest to your video projects. We're going to take a look at how we can do this. To animate the shape, the first thing that we're going to do is create a new composition. Inside the new composition dialog box, I'm going to go ahead and give this a name of shape animation. You can set all other parameters to whatever your needs are and click OK. Once you have the new composition created, we need to draw a shape. Up towards the top, you'll notice that we have a series of shape tools. You can press the Q key on your keyboard to cycle through the different shapes. In this example, I'm going to choose the Polystar tool. With the Polystar tool, I'm going to leave this default blue color selected for the fill. It's not necessarily the default, but rather the last color that you selected. Then I'm going to draw a shape here inside the composition. I'm going to go ahead and place this star on the left side of the composition. And then we need to animate it. To animate this, we're going to expand the Transform section and apply keyframes to Position, Scale, Rotation, and Opacity. You want to go ahead and click the little stopwatch icon. After doing that, you can move your playhead further down in the timeline. You can go ahead and add more keyframes by clicking this little diamond icon over here towards the left. After adding those keyframes, if you use your selection tool, V is the keyboard shortcut to activate that tool, you can move the star to the other side of the composition. You'll notice that you're changing the position values on this last keyframe for position. You can also change things like rotation, opacity, and scale. We'll go ahead and adjust these slightly. Here, when you're dealing with scale, you'll see a little chain link icon. If that's selected, if you change the width, the height will be changed in proportion with it. Once you're done changing those parameters, if you press the space bar on your keyboard, you'll see this animation. And now we've successfully animated a shape.